Not sure how many of you have faced the bird opening before, but by the end of this video, you will definitely know how to tackle it. So please stay till the end and do subscribe to the channel as well if you like this video. Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be taking you through one of the games that I played yesterday. My open here starts off with f4, which is also known as the bird opening. And it actually sounds very strange to me starting off with f4 because you are just weakening up the diagonal towards the king. f2 is a very nice target for black side always and you are just trying to put that pawn straight in front. So it can always have uh, bad consequences later on in the game. So let me take you through this. I started off with c6. That's what I generally do. I play c6, d5, no matter what my opponent does. Open plays d4 now and I go with d5, trying to now hit the center. And open wants to acquire the entire center. That's why I play c4. Now I can take the pawn here. And then again, opponent will ha will play uh, the pawn on e4. And all these three pawns will be troublesome eventually because the big center will uh, land into white. Uh, also, the opponent can take the uh, my pawn back with the bishop next. The queen will also be coming on to b3. Suddenly, I'm hitting towards f7 and also b7. So you never should take the pawn on c4 straight away in the opening. So I here played h6 first. My idea was just to play slow here. Uh, I want to see what my open does. Open plays e3 there. And I respond with a knight to f6, which now defends the pawn as well. Opponent goes for a3 here, trying to be passive. I responded with bishop to f5, developing the bishop. Open plays a knight to c3. I went with queen a5, trying to attack the knight, maybe pin it for temporarily. Open responds with b4, which makes sure that open will never cast on the queen side. All the pawns are distorted completely. Now I come back with the queen to d8. Open plays c5, which I wanted actually the opponent to play because what ha now happened because of my queen movement, open has eventually closed this structure. So queen side is packed up. All I need to do is play on the king side. Or I can even have to, uh, if I have to break open the center, I can do it from uh, E and D pawns respectively. And queen side will be closed. So just to finally, finally assure that the queen side is closed, I respond with A6 here. Open goes with bishop to D2. And I respond with E6. My idea behind E6 is just solidifying my central pawn, allowing my bishop to also develop onto E7, which is not... A very nice place to be in but i don't have much options e7 or g7 are my only options and if i go ahead with g uh, i would not be casting either so i thought okay let me uh, play pawn to e6 there open place knight to f3 and now i play bishop to g4 i was just trying to pin the knight temporarily open goes bishop to e2 and now i play h5 just making sure that my uh, pawn, bishop is always defended with the pawn as well Open goes for a4, and I just push the pawn forward, h4. I want my opponent to not castle either, or just push h3 as well, which again, now I take the knight. Open takes back with the bishop, and now I play knight to b, uh, d7. I'm okay developing my knight. My structure is pretty solid, and open plays queen to e2 there. I went with g6 with the idea of maybe putting my knight backwards next. Uh, Open plays a5 finally, which closes the pawn structure on the queen side. And now I go with knight to h5, asking opponent to either take or I am coming in with a fork on the rook and the queen. So opponent did take here. And now I took with the rook, having a rook lift done as well. Opponent comes in with queen to g4, but that doesn't bother me. I went with knight to f6, moving my knight towards an active square, attacking the queen simultaneously, which now goes back to f3. After this, I got my rook backwards. Why so? Because I want to place my knight there and then acquire the g3 square. Open castles on the queen side. I go with knight to h5 and now open places bishop onto e1. Again, hitting the pawn. And if I now place my knight, I lose the extra pawn as well because after bishop takes and I take back with the pawn, queen takes the pawn as well. So I lose the extra pawn. No point. 
coming back with the bishop again to f6 playing solid asking opponent to do something take the initiative if opponent wants to but i am going to play solid the pawn structure is in my favor i have control of the light squares i have a dark square bishop which can always come out i'm happy in this position opponent plays bishop to f2 i play bishop to g7 eyeing towards the king side uh, towards the queen side diagonal open plays g3 trying to break open i take the pawn open takes back with the bishop and now again knight to h5 attacking the bishop bishop goes back and i got the knight back again not doing much but just playing solid not letting open come into my zone as well here comes rook to g1 i play queen to c7 preparing to castle on the queen side open plays e4 the first blunder of the game open is trying to break open the center because as i said this side is completely closed uh, so i don't need to be bothered about it open is willing to take some initiative and break open things which is in my favor i take the pawn open takes back with the knight i take the knight back open takes back with the queen and here comes finally castling on the queen side now as soon as i castle my bishop is eyeing this pawn my rook is eyeing this pawn all i need is the third attacker and open plays h4 in this position i went with queen to e7 trying to attack this pawn twice open plays bishop to g3 which was the f another blunder in the game because that allows me to take the pawn on to d4 as soon as i take i'm threatening queen i'm threatening a pawn open can only save both by placing queen on b1 which is very passive queen is not going to be active anymore and i have the center open file control completely my bishop is on a wonderful diagonal now as you see and the game is 13.6 in favor of black here i played uh, rook to c4 giving another check open moves on to d2 and here comes the second rook into the picture open keeps moving and now comes queen to f6 i'm okay to exchange queen as well i'm willing to place my queen on to d4 and then maybe give a check attack the bishop eventually lots of ideas can be there from there on so open tries to get the rook on to d1 trying to exchange the rooks and now i get my other rook into the picture asking to exchange this so that after takes i can just get my rook backwards on the same position open therefore moves king to e3 and i just got my rook backwards to d5 my idea is if the open now takes again i have options of taking with the pawn or the rook it's my choice open takes here i took with the rook rook lift sounded much better here open offers the other rook exchange as well which i of course denied i went with queen to c3 first attacking the king king has to move down here comes another check with the bishop now which was kind of getting away from the action because king is running towards the other side of the board so rather get all the pieces into attack my opponent's bishop is very bad already queen is passive the only active piece is rook so what to do try and attack the rook eventually i got my queen first on to e3 uh trying to just stay close to the opponent i have ideas of putting my bishop aside stepping and then maybe get the rook exchange as well things like those can happen opponent tries to attack my uh, queen with the rook here i give a check from d2 open side steps with the king on h3 and now i place bishop to f2 which allows me to have the bishop trade finally open will not lose the rook over it so open moves the rook to f1 i take the bishop open takes back and now i thought okay how do i follow up with checks i first moved my queen to e2 uh, trying to close this diagonal and then have an idea of eventually placing uh, the rook on to d3 which can lead to queen loss as well because otherwise the open uh, king is trapped open will have to sack the queen but open plays rook f3 in time i thought okay let me put my rook on d2 now i have threats of placing my queen on to g2 which would result in a checkmate so open got the back queen back on to g1 here i thought okay let me exchange the rooks i'm better i have a better pawn structure i can trade off we traded off here and in this position open plays uh, king to g4 i go with king f5 check and open ran out of time as well it was the time got over for the open and i had 23 seconds on the clock still it was an easy end game from here taking all the pawns uh, and that's it 
Open will eventually fall down. I'm uh, five. It's, it's it's five in favor of Black, and it was completely dominating game. If you see, uh, opponent hardly got any chance back in the game uh, ever. Once I got the initiative in the 16th move, I never let my opponent go away with it. Uh, 35 average, 70 point loss, not bad. And yes, you now know how to play against the bird opening. Start off with c6d5. c6d5 is basically you can play against any kind of an opening. And it has worked out for me uh, more often than not. So I'm still trying to figure out against other openings as well. How can I improve the pawn structure? How can I improve my piece development? Because for a good middle game, all your pieces need to be developed on natural squares. So that's what I'm working on. And I hope you guys also learn something in the process. I am trying to learn something. So I hope it was instructive enough and you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.